good morning guys what's up welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i'm doing my first ever work week in my life believe it or not i've actually never filmed one of these videos and i don't really know why but it feels really appropriate now that i started this new job and i'm living the part-time nine to five life um i just feel like I don't know it's a new adventure for me and it would be fun to kind of show you guys how I'm structuring my work week balancing YouTube I'm still babysitting Cali once a week and then of course now working this job in marketing if you are not familiar with what I'm talking about right now and you're like what the heck do you mean you're working in marketing now make sure you go and watch the other video that I posted before this one and that will answer any questions you might have but yeah it is 8 50 I'm about to go into the office like I said I work nine to five with about an hour lunch break and I am doing social media management and influence relations for a local marketing company they also do consulting and own several small businesses within so my job is more than just that side of things like I'm also doing a lot of like graphic design and stuff or email campaigns they run a popular blog so I'm doing some content writing and like website stuff as well so it's a job of many different tasks but I really really love it so far and I'm excited to show you guys what a work week looks like for me I have my backpack with everything in it cardigan because it gets really cold in the office sometimes and then I just put my lunch in this Target bag because I'm just gonna transfer it right to the fridge. Before we get any further into the vlog, I wanna quickly thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Ritual. I worked with Ritual in the past and they're one of my favorite companies that makes multivitamins. You guys might remember I did work with them a long time ago, but I have been taking their multivitamins forever. I take mine every morning with breakfast and I just need to show you guys these pills. Like I'm a little bit of a baby when it comes to swallowing pills, but these ones are super easy to swallow. Most multivitamins are like horse pills and these are really, really small. Super smooth and easy to swallow and they actually taste like mint. Multivitamins are always giant horse pills and they always taste terrible and you can like taste them hours later when you're like burping, gross. Uh, these never do that for me and the other perk of these is they never give me like that upset stomach feeling that multivitamins can do sometimes. And I actually just started a fresh bottle for the month of June. I take the Essential for Women multivitamin for women 18 and up. They also make multivitamins for women over 50, prenatal multivitamins, postnatal multivitamins, as well as vitamins for kids and men so you can find a multivitamin that will work for you, whatever your situation. These are packed with crucial vitamins that may be missing from your diet. I know that I'm not always getting everything into my diet. My health and wellness is so important to me, especially as of lately, as you guys are probably aware. And so taking this multivitamin every day is just like one small step that I can do to make sure I'm getting the nutrients my body needs. Some of the notable ingredients are folate, omega-3 DHA, vitamin B12, vitamin D, iron, vitamin K2, boron, vitamin E, and magnesium. So many good vitamins backed by clinical studies and they're vegan. So if you guys wanna check out Ritual Vitamins, go to ritual.com slash 20 Melissa, or you can just use the discount code 20 Melissa for 20% off your first month of Ritual Vitamins. And thank you so much to Ritual for working with me. And now we'll get back to the vlog. two o'clock now I just ran and did a coffee run and I'm honestly not starving so I'm just gonna eat what I brought I didn't actually bring like a lunch per se but I brought a banana um, a bunch of grapes watermelon and a fig bar so I'm just gonna eat that and then Chad and I are having leftovers tonight so we'll probably have an early dinner I had planned on filming a little bit more and sharing more with you guys so hopefully I'll get to do that tomorrow we've just been like super busy today we had a meeting as soon as I got to work and then it's just been like non-stop I've had a lot of tasks to do and we have interns now which is awesome so they want me to like outsource some of my work but I struggle to do that because I'm just so used to doing everything myself so it's something I'm really trying to learn is like how to utilize my resources and let other people help me with these tasks but a lot of what I do is like things need to look a specific way or if it doesn't look that way then like I think it wasn't right even though that's not true <laughs> so I'm just working on giving tasks to other people so I don't overwhelm myself it's all a learning process and I'm just really grateful for the fact that we do have interns which by the way are paid interns I thought that was amazing when I got with this company I knew they were gonna have interns 
I just remember when I was in college and I did my internship for my bachelor's degree and it was completely unpaid and I just thought that was so unfair because we did so much work so I'm really glad they pay their interns it definitely makes me feel better about like having them help me with work knowing that they're at least getting paid for it had a meeting this morning to create an influencer campaign it's so cool doing this kind of work because i've always been on the other side of it like i've always been the influencer receiving a campaign brief you know being the one to read about like what their goal was and submit post for approval and now i'm on like the management side of it which is so different but also really really cool i feel like i have a better insight having seen it from both sides we are having our italian noodle soup for dinner wow my camera lens is very foggy. This is my favorite soup ever. If you've been here for a while, then you already know that. I'm descaling my Nespresso machine, and it's a process because I don't have the descaling um, fluid, so I basically had to use like vinegar and half water and then descale the whole thing with that, but I have to run it through so many cycles. And the Nespresso machine won't run without some kind of a pod, so I'm going back and forth between this, and I just like punctured them and emptied out the contents, so it's just, you know, to run water through. But I did like the two that will do the most water, so the most like largest ounces, which this one's not that much, but the one I'm currently using is a double one. It does a good amount. The vinegar solution is already done. I'm just running through um, a whole tank of just regular water now to clear out the vinegar. But then it'll be completely descaled, and I'm going to wash the whole thing down on the outside after that. Because I just haven't done it in a while. I've been making regular cups of coffee or espresso shots with the espresso machine that we got um, as like a wedding gift. But I kind of want to start using the Nespresso machine again, so... my dog on the couch because my body has no internal clock right now and I've been up since 2 30 I don't know why I just can't sleep so I was playing on my phone for a while and I have a cough I don't know why <clears throat> so I was playing on my phone for a while so I just came out here because I was tossing and turning and I didn't want to wake chat up and of course trooper came with me He's peacefully asleep, clearly having no trouble sleeping. It's almost 5 a.m. and I decided to do my nails with these like black tips. Having some scrambled eggs for breakfast and then a Dave's Killer English muffin that I definitely overcooked, but a little crispy, never hurt nobody. First, we water the plant. Then we water ourselves. Just got to work. It is 8.50, so I'm 10 minutes early, which is perfect. <sighs> what a night last night. I don't even know what the heck happened, but I basically didn't sleep from um, 2.30 all the way until now. And the sleep that I did get was really crappy last night, too. Like, I just remember tossing and turning a lot, and then finally I just gave up and decided to come out to the living room and sleep because... I could tell that I was like waking Chad up and I didn't want him to lose sleep just because I couldn't sleep. So yeah, oh and my freaking straw to my Stanley cup came out of my <laughs> cup when I was like moving my bag over and now it's like probably dirty on the floorboard of my car somewhere. Hi guys, it is Wednesday now. I didn't do a great job vlogging at all yesterday. I was so freaking tired. I don't even know how I survived the day, honestly, after getting no sleep. And then I came to work and I was here for eight hours, obviously 
just my brain was fried there was no part of me left to do anything and I went to bed super early last night um, and then got up and came to work and Wednesdays are my half day and it's actually 12:30 now and I'm leaving so had a good productive day got a bunch of updated stuff on the social media I was working on a bunch of graphics for like stories and just all kinds of crazy stuff. Been home for a little bit now and I am in the middle of printing out packing slips and buying shipping labels for Sunstat orders because I'm a little bit behind on that. Now that I'm working in an office, it is extremely crucial that I get my time management under control and I currently don't have it under control. So I'm trying to figure out how I can kind of equally uh, divide my days where I'm not in the office to like, do sun style stuff and do YouTube stuff. Sun style has been completely on the back burner. Obviously, I'm sure you guys already know that. If you shop there, then you've probably looked at the social media and been like, what the heck? She hasn't posted anything. And that's because I've been so focused on other things. But sun styles will be making a comeback soon. I just have to figure my life out first. Good morning, guys. Trooper is really living life right now, laying on this pillow that has no pillowcase on it. The most spoiled dog in the world. Anyone else's dog prefer to lay with a pillow? Sometimes I think it's so weird, but he loves to have a pillow. This is some A plus backlit lighting, <laughs> but I just got to my dentist appointment. I'm about to go in and get my cleaning. And I feel okay about the cleaning. If you guys don't know, I have really, really bad dental anxiety. I've talked about it before, like just going to the dentist. So my whole drive, I'm like just nauseous thinking about it. But like the teeth cleaning I can handle. I'm actually not worried about that at all. It's like just thinking about the next time I have to have like a filling or something. I think I'm good for a while. I haven't had any pain or anything, but like I always think about it because I hate going to the dentist. So yeah, let's go get my teeth cleaned. I actually need to take out my aligners. Just finished my dentist appointment. It went really, really well. They already know I have like such bad anxiety about it. Got my little goodie bag, my toothbrush and toothpaste. I'm really, really excited to say that for once in my life, I don't have an extensive amount of work that needs to be done. I've been really doing a good job taking care of my teeth. And now that I'm going to like a reputable private dental office instead of where I was going before, which was someone that literally just wanted to make up stuff that was wrong in my mouth and give me a bunch of unnecessary work that I later had to have fixed. Things are just so much better now at this new dental office. I think my jaw's a little messed up over here, um, but he thinks it's just because my teeth are moving around because of my Invisalign. So, yeah. But I'm at work now. I actually just got here um, and I'm 30 minutes late, obviously. I already told them I was going to be late today, but I need to get in there, so... home now I wanted to do a little wine haul because I got a bunch of new wines at Total Wine I actually just stopped and grabbed my pickup order on my way home I'm also eating some watermelons so don't mind that it's my little snack but I picked out two for myself and then two for Chad we will probably share all of this but like he prefers reds and I prefer whites so all of these are new to us haven't ever tried any of them but I'm a huge Prosecco fan so I picked out two different types of Prosecco this one is the Barasca, and then this one is La Vostra. I love La Marca, so this is definitely like some version of that. I don't know if it's like the exact same makers of it. It's gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try this because I love La Marca. And then for Chad, I got this one. Not even gonna attempt to pronounce that, but it is a Pinot Noir, and then this other one is a Cab. So two really good reds that I'm sure he's gonna love. So it'll be really fun. We'll do a little wine tasting. We're doing Tovala for dinner tonight because Chad has a union meeting at work. So just figured it'd be easier so that way he can eat before he heads out for this meeting. So we're doing lemony almond crusted pork chops with couscous, spinach, and smoky red pepper vinaigrette. Honestly, sounds really good. Five minutes left. Sorry for the random change in quality. We're back to using my G7X because 
that other camera sounds really really bad my sony zv e10 like the um lens it shut off on me when i was filming a video and it's also making this really loud gritty noise whenever it like turns on and off and whenever it focuses and it sounds horrible like it's about to just completely break so i figured i should stop using it um i'm kind of like not sure if i'm gonna get a new lens or if i'm just gonna take it and see if it can be repaired but we're gonna use my g7x for now my makeup off i've been using this cleansing oil makeup remover from first aid beauty it just melts your makeup away it basically does the same thing as that clinique one that i really like the um clinique take the day off i love these cleansing balms slash oils that just like completely remove it, all your makeup i'm using the ordinary serum hyaluronic acid just finished off my skincare for the night with the first aid beauty ultra pear cream um it's the collagen one i love using that stuff at night but now i'm about to journal and read and this is the book i've been reading one commented after i'd already started reading this one and said that i should read one of her other books before it that i had also purchased because it would make more sense which i did not realize and i'm already going to be reading it i guess out of order but technically it's not one before the other but i guess there's some kind of relationship between the two but oh well. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this so far. I'm still in the pretty beginning stages of the book. Um, but yeah, that's my plans and then I'm going to sleep. Happy Friday, guys. I just got in the car from the pouring down rain. We just got done grocery shopping and it is pouring. Well, it actually kind of calmed down a little bit, but we have a massive storm coming, um, like a tropical storm. But I wanted to give a little shout out because look how cute my rain jacket is from Columbia. Columbia uh, gifted me and Chad new rain jackets, and they are so cute. Very nice. Chad really likes this too. It looks really good, and it's protected us from the rain. So we love that. Thank you, Columbia. We just got back home from grocery shopping. We went to Costco and Publix. I'm gonna do a little grocery haul for you guys. Got some Celsius at Costco, and then we got a bunch of produce. So some bananas, sweet potatoes, some lemons, Brussels sprouts cucumber, apples, grapes. These grapes, when they're really tiny like this, are my favorite because they're like really, really firm and sweet. And then we got some yogurts, an onion, some peppers, Parmesan cheese, and then Chad's gonna make us some biscuits and gravy. So we got the biscuits and gravy stuff. We got some X nuts from Costco. Sorry, Chad's popping like bubble wrap over there. <laughs> and then some Parmesan cheese, some mixed frozen veggies. These are for a soup that we're gonna make tomorrow. And some Special K, because I've been really liking Special K lately. Some eggs, bread, chicken broth. This is also for the soup, diced tomatoes. And then this is for tonight. We got shrimp. We're gonna do like a shrimp, um, a garlic lemon like shrimp pasta. And then some ground beef some burgers, and chicken. And that is everything. Yay. I have two things that I've recently purchased specifically for work and I wanna show you guys. The first thing is this new water bottle. I also have this in white. I'm sure you guys have already seen these. They're like really, really popular right now. And I'm like a huge water bottle junkie. I just have issues with like wanting to collect water bottles and mugs and like it's just something I can never have too much of even though it drives Chad crazy but this is my latest one it's the Stanley and it's amazing it keeps my water so cold and I've been drinking a lot more water at work because of it and then I got this little boot for it on Amazon I'll link this it's kind of nice because it prevents the bottom from getting all scratched up but it's also nice because like you can set it down without it being like really loud we love that and then the second thing is a planner I've actually been using a paper planner again specifically for at work because I have a lot of different tasks I'm working on and like like keeping track of meetings and just whatever is thrown my way so i just want to show you guys my planner i got this planner on amazon and it was actually really hard to find a 2022 planner because new ones are out right now and they're all starting in july all of the pages are so pretty and it's like i literally have this plant i literally have this plant i put it in my vlog i also have a snake plant plants have just been my thing lately so it's just really pretty because all of the pages have plants on them but still working on filling out for the month of june 
but each of the months has like this really nice layout so you can like track your goals, plan out any projects, like a little must do checklist, hope to do, to call, to email, to purchase, to read or watch. Like this is literally exactly what I needed. I just can't believe I found this thing on Amazon. Cheers. We're having a little date night in tonight and Chad's making us the garlic shrimp uh, pasta. So excited. Shrimp's cooking. Sounds really yummy. We were originally gonna go out tonight, but then we couldn't because there's the tropical storm coming. So it'd be like really rainy and gloomy if we were gonna go. Here's the final product. Yummy. All credit goes to Chad. pretty much it for this week's vlog thank you guys so much for watching please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this like work week in my life because i don't normally do these i usually do day in my life um let me know what you prefer more this was kind of fun though i like to kind of like spread it out over the week um yeah let me know how you liked it and if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video